A mental health center in Marion will be closing its doors. The Abbey Center for Community Care says its main center will close at the end of September. Fox 28's Jason Hackett explains what factors led up to the closure and how it will impact patients. Jason. Tiffany, when we were out here earlier, we saw employees with boxes seemingly beginning the move out process. Those employees and the 77 patients here have until September 30th before these doors close for good. A 60 day time period is what we really have to work with. And it's not a countdown that Abbey President Dan Strelner is looking forward to. We've been providing uh, residential treatment services since 1987 to adults with mental health issues. And so it's always concerning and disappointing when their lives are disrupted. Strelner says the two decade old facility is finally succumbing to budget cuts. The counties who fund mental health services simply don't have the money. $1.4 million or about 60% less funding in county service funds in this fiscal year than the previous fiscal year. His disappointment is shared with Senator Rob Hogue. We need more beds, not fewer beds. So this is a big step in the wrong direction. Hogue says this year state lawmakers proposed a $13 million safety net for facilities like the Abbey Center. The bill was vetoed by Governor Terry Branstad. Without that veto, the counties might have been able to say, yeah, we'll provide the resources we need to keep this center open and then apply to the state to make sure they could cover those costs. Strelner says the veto wasn't the only reason for Abby's demise, but it may have made a difference. Those funds out of the risk pool could have been used to help residential facilities like ours to downsize and to implement a different treatment model. But with that option off the table, attention now turns towards the patients who will have to find a new home. Some folks may move to the community in homes. We have some people targeted to move anyway. Um, others may have to be transferred to other residential facilities or other institutions. Strelner says they're working to help the 80 employees here find jobs with other organizations. As for the future of mental health here in Iowa, he says as the state switches from a county approach to a more regional approach, the future is cloudy at best. We're covering the corridor in Marion. Jason Hackett, Fox 28 News.